So, so let's move on for now to Queen Elizabeth II, uh, the only becrowned woman who acts more in titles than a bride at her bachelorette party. <laughs> this is my day. It's my day before my other day. <laughs> now, normally, normally, when the Queen makes headlines, it's because she's just gotten older. You know, her most meaningful power as monarch is basically to stand there and experience the passage of time. <laughs> but, but this week, at a garden party, she made news with an overheard complaint. The Queen has been caught on camera criticising a recent Chinese delegation to the UK. Her Majesty was introduced to a police commander who described difficulties during the state visit of the Chinese president. Can I present Commander Lucy Dawson, gold commander with the Chinese state visit? Oh, and it's was... very rude to the ambassador. Oh, they were rude to the ambassador! I will say, it's actually kind of refreshing to hear a 90-year-old woman air a grievance with specific Chinese individuals rather than expressing a vague distrust for Chinese people in general. <laughs> but, but this story became a surprisingly big deal, with experts even delving into the physics of how the Queen had been overheard. The thing with the royals is, sometimes you hear them, sometimes you don't. There seems to have been a sort of perfect storm yesterday. The Queen was under a plastic umbrella which acted to amplify her words. Oh, yes, of course. The classic problem of unintended sound amplification. We haven't heard this much from the Queen since she had surgery and had to wear one of those big plastic cones around her neck. <laughs> but, but other people... Other people were more interested in examining why the Queen was so upset. In the Queen's defence, she is only saying, and the police officer is saying what was widely reported at the time, which was Chinese officials and Chinese security at the Chinese embassy were pretty high-handed in the way they were uh, treating British police, British diplomats and officials, acting in the words of uh, one observer, as if they owned the place. Oh, that is a little rich coming from an English person, because <laughs> for about 300 years that was Britain's entire military policy. Uh, how should we engage the enemy, sir? Well, I suppose we'll just march in and act like we own the place. <laughs> and, and finally this week, 